now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Salt Lake Bees. What is going on, everyone? We are back in Trey Cash's Road to the Show. As you see, we're hitting 394 for Salt Lake. We got sent back down very recently. Now we're just trying to make our way into the starting lineup in AAA. We are riding the bench for some reason. We're the best first baseman, definitely in AAA, but in really the entire organization, and they have us on the bench. As we do strike out there in our first at bat, but fourth inning, it's a 3-0 count. We're swinging here, and maybe we should have not swung as we are going to ground out to the shortstop. And we will go down in our first two at-bats. But if we can just keep playing well, we're hitting almost 400. So we're continuing the success we had last year in the minors. We cannot translate that into the majors, but we're working on that one. Roll for three, though. As we come up in the eighth inning, it's a two to nothing lead for us. A man on first, two outs. Trey going to swing at this one. And this is nicely hit, but right at the left fielder. He's going to make the catch, and we are going to go 0 for 4. And this one, we do get the win, though, 2 to nothing. So on to the next series. As I said, we're on the bench. So we only really play one game a series. But we're playing El Paso here, and Trey up in the first. It's a 3-0 count, and here we're smartly going to watch that one. And we will take a four-pitch walk to start this one out. We come up again in the third inning. It's a 1-0 lead for Salt Lake. 1-2 count, nobody on, one out. Trey, this one a nice one to hit, but just a little bit off there at the third baseman. Easily going to make the throw to first, and we are down again. So we are in a bit of a slide here. 2-0 lead, top of the seventh. One man on, one out. Trey going to get sawed off here, and this one just an unlucky swing as I did not think that was going so far inside, and it saws us off. So it's a, it's a bad start for us here so far. Ninth inning, one more try. Can we get a hit, please? And it's going to be a sidearm pitcher, and that's going to be a hit, and that one is going to be the best hit of all. A home run. That one looked like it went out of the park, and it's a no-doubter. Two RBIs for Trey. Trey, and we finally get ourselves a home run. We win that one 4-1 to one as well. And now we're back in the menu looking to play our next game. And look at this. We have been recalled to the Angels. Yeah, I'm as confused as you are. I have no idea why we're getting called back up. But either way, we're headed back to the majors. And even better, we're in the starting lineup. All four matchups. We are the starting first baseman. So I guess the goal for today's episode was to get back in the starting lineup. I thought that was going to be in AAA, but I'll take in the majors. Although, you see, we were struggling before we got sent back down. We're hitting under 200 in... I don't know how much that's going to change because we did not spend a lot of time in AAA. We're not able to earn a lot of training points to work on our hitting, but we're back up either way, so we got to make do. First inning here, 3-2 count. We're up against Archer here, and this one is going to be hit well, but it's right at the first baseman, so we will go out in our first at bat. This is a lot of the issues that we had when we were up the first time. We just cannot hit well enough against this Major League pitching, but here we will. Trey puts that one over the shortstop. It's going to be to the wall, and that will be an easy double for Trey as he picks up his first hit since getting called back up as we pick up 14 training points as well. Most importantly, that's what I'm pumped about is that we're going to be playing every day. We can earn some more training points. Here we're going to watch a slider inside as there's two on, two out in the fifth inning. We're down three to two and Trey, that one, a perfectly placed pitch for us to hit, but the changeup just gets us, gets us there as we can't quite read those breaking balls. But here we come up and this one was nicely hit, but it's going to be foul. And actually that wasn't quite as good of hit as I thought it was, but eighth inning here. It's a one-two count. Nobody on, nobody out. Trey going to rip this one to center field is it going to be enough no it's not easy easy pop fly that is what we are used to seeing Trey just doesn't quite have that power in the majors we'll go one for four though a double that is going to help our average as sad as that is that does raise our average but we do lose three to two so on to game number two we're hitting 179 eh, eh, you, you've seen better it's the first inning 1-0 count one out no score so far and Trey gonna hit this one but just the contact is not there and I don't really understand it because the contact, our contact ratings are not that bad. I think both are over 70. The versus ready is definitely over 70. Our power, I think, is at 70. But we just can't quite get the ball, bet on the ball as well as we could in the minors. But we're losing one to nothing here. Seventh inning, 3-2 count. No one is out and no one is on. And Trey going to have to swing low. That was probably a ball there. Easy play for the third baseman to make. And we go down once again. And actually, that would be a quick game. We lose only one hit for the Angels altogether. So obviously, that was a very, very tough pitching matchup as we lose one to nothing. But uh, the Angels doing bad. Trey doing bad. We're now hitting 167. One for seven in this series. But we got to turn it around here. Already down 2-0, though. Trey looking for his pitch here. 1-1 one, one count. And we're going to hit a breaking ball. It's going to be off the shortstop's arm. Please tell me they gave us the hit for this one. Please don't call it an error. It is going to be a base hit. That is what we needed. So one for two. As we come up again in the fifth inning, two outs, one man on. We're down 3-1. to one. Trey, can you start a rally here? 
as we are waiting for this 0-2 pitch to come in. Trey, it's going to be down in the zone, and it's another hit. What is this? Maybe our first, second tops multi-hit game. Yes, they don't happen very often for us up here, but that is going to be a multi-hit game, and that is going to be super helpful for the average. We're up again, eighth inning. Base is loaded here, and that's an embarrassing swing. One, two count. It's a three, two game. We could be saviors for the team here. This high inside fastball. I don't know if that was actually a ball, but that is definitely not going to be hit well. Shortstop is out to make it, and we completely, completely fail with the bases loaded. Tie game. Well, it was a tie game. It's the 11th, but the Rays have exploded. It's now 6 3. 2 1 count here. Trey against the lefty. We're not as good against the lefties, and there it is. The ground out to the shortstop, and this game is going to be over, and this series against the Rays, I believe, is going to be over. We lose 6-3. to three. We go 2-6 for six in the game, though. So, still, we're going to hit 333 for that game. That's going to be a big help to the average. We're now hitting 187, and we are going to move on to a series against the Rangers now, and we're up in the first. It's an 0-2 count. Man on first two outs. Trey, and it's against a lefty. We do not do well against the lefties, but let's see this one inside. Trey going to send this one out to center field, but that's just going to be an easy pop-up again. We just don't quite have the power against these major league pitchers like we do in the minors. Triple A, double A. Trey going to come up again in the sixth inning. Now 0 for 2. We flow, flew out another time, but it's a 2-2 game here. No one is on. No one is out. And Trey against a lefty still. And this one is going to be nicely hit, but it's right at the second baseman. Come on. Give us a break here as it's another out. And we are going to sit down, and we end up going 0 for 4 in this game. So a bad start to the Rangers series is... We also lose 3-2, to two, so Trey and the Angels struggling mightily. 170 through the average, still no home runs, and only two RBIs, and that's even sadder the fact that we normally hit third or fourth in the lineup, so we are not helping our team very much. Top of the first, man on second. Here we go, RBI opportunity with one out. Trey going to send this one out to left field, and is that going to be an RBI as the man's going to round third, and he is going to score Trey in with a double. Never mind. We got too aggressive. We're going to be thrown out, but most importantly, it's a hit and an RBI. That is what we needed. Third inning now. We have a 2 to nothing lead. Trey going to jump on this breaking ball up high, but that one just going to be a rainbow can of corn out there for the left fielder to make, and we will go down in this at-bat, but still some positives to work on so far. One for three here after that single. It's the eighth inning. A man on third, one out. We got to get a pop fly here. Sacrifice fly. Trey you got to be kidding me. As that one was actually a nicely placed pitch, I was on it just fine, but for some reason, just the unluckiness, I guess, in the majors, they pop fly or pop out in the infield, and we screw ourselves there. We do still end up getting the win, but that should have been Trey's RBI, and instead, it is not. So still, we did pick up a hit there in RBI, so it's a 179 average, three RBIs now. We're one freight in the series, and look at this. First inning, base is loaded. How can we screw this one up? As Trey, 1-0 count, and this one is a nicely placed ball. Trey going to connect with it, but it's just too high. We don't have the power, and it's going to be another pop fly. Luckily enough, though, we will get the sacrifice fly. So a run will score, and look at this. We have doubled our RBI total in the span of two games. Now 6 nothing here, as that's an inside pitch. We're going to lay off 2-2 count now. It's the fourth inning, two outs. Man on second. Can we pick up another RBI here? An RBI single, RBI double would be nice, and this one is going to be nice, but the breaking ball, we can't read that changeup. And instead, it's just an easy, easy ground out for the second baseman, Odor, to make. So now fifth inning. It's the bases loaded for the Rangers here. We need to turn two. The throw from the third baseman, second, second to first. And Trey is there to make the catch. And that will be a double play. Very nicely timed there as well. So still 6-1 game. We're up in the seventh. 0 for 2 here with that sacrifice fly. And the ribby earlier in the game. It's a 2-2 count. No one on. No one is out. But again, we cannot read the breaking ball. And it's an easy out to the first baseman. And we're going to go hitless again, 0 for 3. We do pick up the RBI and the win, but Trey just struggling so much right now. we got to try and turn this around. I don't know if they'll send us, a down quick, send us back down quickly again or if we're going to have some time, but we're starting every game. Opportunity to get some training points. we got to work on our hitting, and hopefully we can slowly, slowly turn this one around and become a staple at first base for the Angels.